Yo, man, I've really found that I am the best person. I feel the best during the daytime. When the night rolls around, man, I turn into a different person. Like, I just start turning into light. It's hard to explain it. But during the daytime, I truly am the best person. I have the best things to say. You know, I feel the best. I'm excited about life. I'm ready to go. My videos are the best when I record during the day. You know, at night, at first when night hits, it feels kind of nice. Like, oh, okay. But I just have insomnia. Not clinically, but I just have insomnia. Like, sometimes I can't sleep or I wake up in the middle of the night. I get all hot. I need something to drink, like some water. We can all relate to that. I think we can all relate to that, you know. But yeah, I really just start to, at night, I just am not the best, you know. Maybe I need to get to sleep a little earlier. Maybe I need to find a way to just fall asleep and take care of myself better. Because I also get this thing where my legs get so tired from, you know, my day. Because I'm very active. My legs get so tired that it's like I sit there and my legs hurt. And sometimes I shake my legs. Like I keep moving my legs uh, in, in order to like soothe them. But it can be really hard to fall asleep when you keep moving, you know, because your body falls asleep when you actually cease to move. Like if you just hit one of these, like then you fall asleep. But if you keep hitting one of these, like your body probably won't fall asleep, even though you are resting, at least at least you're laying there and resting. But like when I'm just resting, I sort of get like a little bit anxious at night. Versus when I'm sleeping, I get like the best feeling ever. Like when I'm asleep, I'm like in a different world. It's really hard to explain it. But when you sleep, it's like you're in a whole different world and everything's OK. The nightmares come, but then the nightmares go. You know, the more I take care of myself, the more the nightmares don't don't show up no more. And really, it's like the night the nightmares are like. How do you explain it? Like sometimes the nightmares will wake you up and you'll think they're real and it's scary, man. But the more you take care of yourself, the more you just, you know, all types of techniques that I put in other videos. I won't preach them to you in this video right here. I mean, maybe I'll, I'll, I'll spit them out real fast just so you know what I'm talking about. Like semen retention, just eating healthy, you know, vegetables, fruits, you know, eating the healthiest you can. And just, you know, taking showers, taking care of yourself, making sure you take care of your physical appearance, right? If you can afford it, then, you know, dress nice, you know, get clothes that, you know, it's all about confidence, guys. It's really all about confidence, but not fake confidence. It's about real confidence. So if you feel like you had a good day, everything was good, right, then you can sleep well. But also it, it has to do with like, well... Maybe you can relate to me on like the restless legs, like they keep shaking and, you know, but anyways, oh, we're talking about dreaming though. So if you did everything good in your day, then your dreams are going to be absolutely blissful. They're going to be great, right? Because, or even if you're not dreaming, even if you're just sit there sleeping and, you know, you feel good, right? The better you take care of yourself, the more better your dreams are going to be. Your nightmares are going to flee you. That's the devil. The nightmares are your debt is the devil. So the more you can can pray to God and Jesus Christ in the name of the Holy Spirit. I pray to you, Jesus Christ. Amen. The more you can can like, you know, pray to God and rid yourself of the devil and your sinful behavior. Right. The less nightmares are going to have. That's why they say, oh, yeah, I'll sleep good tonight. Or if someone did something bad, they're going to say, yeah, um, like, let's say somebody did something bad and they're going to say, like, yeah, I didn't sleep good that night. You get what I'm saying, guys? It all goes back to the same metaphors that they already put out there for us. The metaphors are out there for a reason. But, you know, it's about people rebelling against things that are already here. That's the demonic behavior, the satanic behavior. The everyone is already saying this, but I'm going to do this. I'm going to be shysty. I'm going to do this. Right. And now it's getting to the point where. 
the satanic and the devil behavior is being promoted so much now it's almost the mainstream so now it's like now if you believe in christianity jesus christ now you're of the minority now you're the small guy people don't agree with what you're saying and this was prophesized in the holy bible guys this was prophesized all right and those of you who really are worshipers know exactly what i'm talking about but let's say you believe in god a little bit jesus christ a little bit you know you, you might know what the holy spirit is you might not know what it is guys look it up or research the holy bible or look up somebody who has a video on it I know the spiritual servant, he has a video on it. He has lots of videos on that. But yeah, look look up into some videos, guys. Or just get the Holy Bible out and read it. Buy, Go out and buy a Holy Bible or go to church and they'll probably give you a Holy Bible. Guys, they gave me this at the church I went to. I didn't have a Holy Bible and they gave me this for free. I'm telling you guys. This has been prophesied in the Holy Bible that... Satan will take over in the later times and Christianity will become the minority. It's prophesized, guys. And this book is thousands of years old. It's the oldest known book and they're prophesizing it. So, hey, don't forget to give my video a like, comment, subscribe, and thank you for watching.